I'm Sam, and this is Amazing Travels. Week 19 here in Germany. Monday went to a sort of Spanish-themed smoker's bar. It was called Fire Bar, I believe, and it was in Mitte. Went with Jenny and Louise. We had a fire conversation. But um, psh. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. What we really had was five euro mojitos, which were delicious. I spoke to the bartender and I'm like, oh, is this a Hispanic, Latin, Spanish bar? Sort of, I guess everything's all kind of integrated. I'm from Spain, blah, blah, blah. And we were speaking in Spanish, you know, gotta get that Spanish practice in because there's so much German going on in my mind that like Spanish is being enveloped and just taken over. Speaking of languages and all this internationality stuff, on Wednesday was International Day at Uni Potsdam, where I currently attend university, and I represented America well, I hope. Lena, my table partner, and I set up our board. It was full of American memorabilia. License plates, maps, pictures of, you know, important places like the Statue of Liberty, the White House, Miami Beach. You know, important things. We gave out Oreos and milk as our snack. We thought everyone's gonna love this, you know, like Oreos, who doesn't like Oreos? Nobody wanted our Oreos. I don't understand. In America, people would just like literally try to figure out any possible way of how to avoid talking to us while snatching some Oreos and like walking away. Free food, it's just, it's normal. Just grab it and go. Not here, Germans are very polite. Would you like an Oreo, Kekse? And they're like, no thanks, too sweet for me. They're Oreos! Long story short, Lena and I ate a lot of Oreos that day and drank a lot of milk. We also ate some savory food because luckily next to us was the Turkish table and they had this awesome, I don't know what kind of grain roll wrapped spicy delicious thing. We would have, you know, dinner in Turkey, dessert in America, and we'd just go back and forth all day. And we decided passports were unnecessary for today. You know, we just lifted all the borders and everything was cool. I got to meet a lot of people, not just Germans, but people from everywhere, obviously, on International Day. And I have a bunch of lunch dates for this week, so that should be exciting. That night I cleaned my boots and set them on top of the windowsill for St. Nicholas to come around. In the morning, what were my boots filled with goodies. I got some mittens, some mandarins, some peanuts, and a lot of chocolate. St. Nicholas was good to me, so that must mean that I've been a good girl this year. <laughs> I guess St. Nicholas hasn't been watching all my videos. <laughs> Just kidding. After German class on Thursday, a bunch of us went to the Mensa and ate lunch together. They were giving out these little Santa Claus men with every meal. They forgot me. Everyone had one. I was the lonely girl without a decorated tray. After lunch, we were very excited about the snow. Most of us had seen snow before, but not in this capacity. So we decided, hey, why not build a snowman? It is the time, it is the season, let's build that guy. We're packing snow together, gathering snow. You know, we're making this giant thing. Ends up being maybe a foot and a half tall. It is hard to build a snowman. You really gotta like compact that snow, ball it all up, and it was not working out for us. I went to many Weihnachtsmarkts this week. The first was Schloss Charlottenburg's Weihnachtsmarkt, and this Christmas market was beautiful. I mean, there was so many light effects on this giant castle. It was just gorgeous. Me and Louise were just there looking at it and saying, oh my God, it's beautiful, like this light show. Every like two minutes it would change colors. Obviously we had some Glühwein because that's what you do at Weinax Marks. You have Glühwein, you eat a Wurst or some kind of sweet crepes or mandels or something. I also went to a Vinox Markt in Frankfurt Oder. They had a bunch of food. I tried this delicious Hungarian food called langos, like an elephant ear, but with salty stuff on it, like cheese and salami, garlic. Oh my God, it was so good. I also went to the Vinox Markt at Alexanderplatz last night, had a glue vine there. Today I went to Neukon's Vinox Markt and I ate Feuerfleisch and this bread with like pig schmear on it, as well as a Bratapfel, which is a baked apple. Also like these sweet almonds. I keep talking a lot about food. Been eating a lot of food too. Friday night, I went to Frankfurt Oder for a party at Mimi's house. We were supposed to go out, but then the two clubs that are open in Frankfurt Oder were playing rock music. And not that I'm not a fan of rock music, but it's really difficult to dance to rock music unless you're like moshing and like bah, 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 bah. We were gonna go to Poland to go out, but then everyone got lazy and it was freezing outside, so we decided house party. On Saturday morning, Beck and I were hearing Christmas music at the mall. So we just broke it down right there. At first people were like, and then they were smiling and thinking, oh, so Zeus, you're so sweet. You were just, I don't care what people think. I don't care if they think I'm crazy. Maybe they're right. <laughs> 
Last night was really interesting. I went to a party, a very international party. See, I met this guy Thomas at a soccer game because he was standing next to us and he started talking to us and decided, hey, we're gonna hang out one day. So yesterday he calls me up and he's like, hey, my friend's having a party if you and some of your friends wanna come. So I was like, why not? It's Saturday night, let's do something. We get to this party and it's people from everywhere. The guy who owned the house was from Saudi Arabia, there was a girl from Japan, there was people from Switzerland, France, United States, England, Italy, I mean, basically all of Europe was there and some Americans mixed in. This girl. The party was great. Afterwards, we went to Mustafa's, which is apparently the best donor in Berlin. Let me tell you, it's the best donor I've ever had. Very fresh, meat was good, and it didn't make me want to like hate myself afterwards. This morning, sang Christmas carols at the church with my host family, bringing in the cheer for the second advent of the year. Came back home and Lara, my host sister, and I went sledding. It's been snowing and freezing cold weather like crazy. Today it was basically a blizzard outside. Lara comes up to my window and like she's holding up this sled and I'm like, hell yes. There's this really long sloping thing which, you know, is perfect for sledding. Only thing is, <laughs> there's a lake that's not completely frozen and you're kind of sledding in the direction of this lake. So the, I'm sitting up at the top of the hill and I'm thinking, oh god. This could be bad. This could be hypothermia. This could be titanic. It could be death. But I will prevail. And I did. And then I did it again and again. And then we did it together. And then we did it again and again. And it was epic. Loving the Chrismica spirit. So check out what I've got for you in the review of the week. My first advent calendar given to me by my host family. All right. So I get to open a few. So it was a little late, but you know. Since that might get boring for you, I'll just try to open one of them, even though I'm not quite sure how this thing works here. As you can see, I'm having a little trouble with it, but eventually I succeeded. Now we're at International Day. This is our lovely board with our lovely table, and these are the boots I set out for St. Nicholas. I'm awaiting what he says in the morning. In the morning, I found all this snow when I opened my window. Holy crap. I also found all the goodies that St. Nicholas left for me and check them out better here in the light. Yes, it was yummy and delicious and also very useful. So I waited for a bus for 23 minutes outside this stop. I didn't ever catch that bus, but at least it was pretty. Berlin is filled with all these lights now because of the Christmas time and the Christmas markets. Here is Schloss Charlottenburg's Christmas market. Like I told you, all the lights made that castle look even more gorgeous than it already is. Here is some Glühwein. Yes, warm wine to soothe the soul. And we got it from that place. These were some girls that I wanted to take some video of, but of course, leave it up to the guys to walk up to them and get in my shot. Here is the little stands everywhere. <laughs> We all know how that song goes. Here's one of the cool stands I found, and this is just us walking through Schoss Charlottenburg's Weihnachtsmarkt. We decided let's get some gebrannte Mandel. How are they? I don't know yet. Try them. Trying gloves are so hard to deal with. Worth it. Who made the right choice? She was so right. They were delicious. It's like sugar-coated almonds or something. I don't even like almonds, but I love those kinds of almonds. Sugar helps. Here we're walking through Neukohn's Weihnachtsmarkt. As you can see, it was packed and crowded, and it was just a great atmosphere. All these little stands everywhere, a bunch of delicious food. They're famous for these lanterns that everyone gets one every year and like runs around with them or something. That's the pig bread I was talking about. Schmalzbrot. Really delicious. Tastes like chicharrones. And here's just snow on the trees. Just the beauty of the Christmas markets staring at you in the face. It's really a great time of year to visit Germany just because of all these things. So exciting! Love it. <laughs> 